right here, Elizabeth, with me today, and she's going to help me with today's kids' church. Hey, have you ever been to a wedding? Did you know that Jesus' first miracle was at a wedding? And what was that miracle, Elizabeth? Water into wine? Water into wine. Jesus turned water into wine. Okay, so I thought for today's lesson, I would show you guys a magic trick. Would you like to see one? Okay, so here I've got some plain water. Elizabeth, would you like to sample my plain water? Just water? All right. Boys and girls, I'm going to turn this water into juice. Are you ready? Ooh. Now pour it back for me, Elizabeth. Let's see if it turned into juice. Wow, it did. Boys and girls, do you think that I performed a magic trick? No. Actually, there was some juice powder already in there. And when I poured it in, it all mixed together and then turned into juice. Now, I did this silly little trick to start us thinking about miracles that Jesus did perform throughout his life. Now, I said miracles, not magic, because during his time on earth, Jesus performed many miracles. He healed the sick, he raised the dead. What else did he do, Elizabeth? He walked on water, he fed 5,000 people with two loaves, with five loaves and two fish. Now these miracles couldn't be explained by a simple trick. They were things that only God could do. So our Bible lesson today is about the very first miracle Jesus did turning water into wine. Now there was a great wedding celebration at the village in Cana and almost everyone in town was there. Jesus's mother was there too and his disciples. Now everyone was having a good time until a very unfortunate thing happened. They ran out of wine. Jesus's mother went looking for her son and when she found Jesus, she said to him, there's no more wine even though Jesus wasn't ready to really reveal that he was the Messiah, hey Elizabeth, that he was the savior, he quietly took on the responsibility of helping out in the situation. Now his mother told his servants, do whatever he tells you to do. So there were six stone water jars nearby and each one could hold 20 or 30 gallons. And a gallon is like a jug of milk, jug of milk my friend, so that's a lot of gallons. Jesus said, fill the jars with water. And when the jars had been filled, he said, now dip some out and take it to the master of ceremonies. The servants did as they were told. And I'm sure you probably know what happened. Hey, Elizabeth, yep. the water had been turned into wine. Not that, but it was the best wine they had had all evening. Now, this was the first miracle that Jesus performed. And the Bible tells us that after they saw Jesus perform this miracle, the disciples believed in him. That was the, always the reason that Jesus performed a miracle. He didn't do it so that he would become popular or well-liked. He did it so that all would believe that he was God's son. And that's pretty cool that he came to save the world, don't you think? Now, I believe in that, don't you? Yeah. Let's take a minute to pray. God, we thank you so much that you sent your son to this earth, that he performed miracles and showed people that he was the son of God. I pray for each of my friends at home today that they would just know that to be true and their hearts would be turned towards you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bye, guys. Have a great week. Bye.